physical changes and chemical changes before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free firstly let me teach you that what is physical changes well consider a bottle made up of glass let this bottle falls and breaks up into several small pieces we say that change has occurred in the system because the bottle changed its shape and size we know that each and every piece of the bottle is still glass or made up of glass even though the glass changes shape and size when it breaks it doesn't form a new substance so this is an example of physical change the second example of physical change is cutting vegetables you just change its shape and size the vegetables still retain their original properties you do not get something new or a new substance so cutting a vegetable is also an example of physical change thirdly adding sugar and to water when you add sugar and to water you get a mixture the sugar crystals dissolves in the water thereby changing their shape and size but sugar crystals still retain their properties in the water like sweetness secondly we do not get a new substance when we dissolve sugar in the water thus adding sugar in the water is an example of physical change so from these three examples we learn that when changes only occur in the shape and size of an object and we do not get any new thing or new substance due to this change we call such type of changes as physical changes now let me also teach you some common process in which physical changes occur like change of states of matter for example melting we know that when ice converts into water it is known as a melting it is a physical change because each and every molecule of the ice is made out of one carbon atom and two hydrogen atoms while each and every molecule of the water is also one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms thus in melting process we do not get a new substance hence it is also a physical change the second process is boiling during boiling water is converted into steam or gaseous state no new substance is formed thus it is a physical change the third process is freezing we know that during freezing water converts into ice no new substance is formed thus it is also a physical change therefore remember that melting boiling freezing etc are all different processes in which physical changes occur now what is chemical changes well consider the burning of wood we know that when we burn wood we get ash in chemistry we know that wood is organic materials and it is mainly made out of carbon and hydrogens that is why it is also known as a hydrocarbon burning organic material is known as a combustion when we burn wood and the presence of oxygen we get carbon dioxide and water the burning of wood results in the formation of new substances like carbon dioxide and water we call this change as chemical change because hydrocarbon is converted into carbon dioxide and water the second example of chemical change is digestion during digestion complex molecules are converted into new and simpler substances and the presence of enzymes for example carbohydrate is converted into glucose the third example of chemical change is respiration during respiration glucose and the presence of oxygen is converted into carbon dioxide plus water thus burning of food digestion respiration etc are the process in which chemical changes occur this was all about physical changes and chemical changes